Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we have Kush here with us who recently got into American Express as a full-time analyst and he is here to share his interview experience with us. So, Kush is from the ECM branch at VIT Chennai. So, let's talk to him. Before that, let's look at the eligibility criteria. So, the eligibility criteria was that the student should have a minimum of 60% or 6 CGPA in 10th and 12th and a minimum of 70% or 7 CGPA in the pursuing degree with no standing arrears. So, this was the eligibility criteria and now let's go and talk to Khush. Hi Khush, welcome to my channel. Firstly, Hi, congratulations. And would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, hi Jishnu. So thank you. Thank you for having me on your channel. I see that you have already quite a few videos and it is great to follow them even though I've completed the journey. But you know, reliving those same experiences. So uh, something about myself. Uh, my name is Kush Khanna. I am from PIT Chennai. I took up electronics and computer engineering there and I am close to completing my four years here. Uh, I got an internship opportunity at American Express and that will be getting completed on 15th June as well. So yeah, that is a something little about myself. Um, I like to watch and play cricket. Okay, okay, thank you. And you can now tell us about your uh, interview experience and what rounds were there and how they were. Sure, sure. Okay, so American Express uh, visited our campus in July, August. Uh, last year. So basically uh, they had won uh, the initial coding round which was the first round. Before that there was a short listing which was done basis the uh, stream that is computer science, electronics and computers etc. Okay. as well as the CGPA. So uh, there was a cutoff of I think 8.5. So after the screening the first round was the coding round that had basically few MCQs and uh, two coding questions. Okay. The MCQs were based on English, uh, reasoning ability and some basic DBMS and OOPS concepts as well. Uh, it had a little bit of OS as well, I think. And after that, the co the two coding questions that were there, they were, they were of easy medium difficulty. Okay. So once a candidate cleared this uh, coding test with a basic threshold, they were uh, asked to go for the interview round. There were two interview rounds. So in the first interview, there were two panelists and they asked me questions related to DBMS, OOPS, as well as basic uh, programming questions related to DSA. And this was a friendly chat uh, wherein firstly they asked me oh, the DBMS questions related, the questions related to DBMS as I said. And after that, they picked up my resume and asked some uh, questions related to my project as well. And in the end, there were the DSA based questions. Okay. So once the candidates cleared this round on the same day itself, we had the next round, which was with the senior management of the company. So herein it was more of a discussion about the resume and the projects that we have done. And basically they were asking us some HR based questions, some uh, situation based questions as to how we would react in certain situations. And they wanted to know the uh, uh, experiences that we have had over the past two, two and a half years of leading several teams or working in teams hmm. or working in fests, etc. Okay. And then uh, she also discussed a few projects on her resume hmm. and it was basically a very nice discussion with her which lasted for uh, I think around 30 minutes and after that uh, she said thank you and asked if I had any questions. Uh, post that, uh, the results were declared on the next day okay. or I think on the same Okay, okay. That's great. Um, thank you for sharing your experience. And do you have any tips or suggestions for people who want to get into American Express or any good company? Yeah, so the, the first and foremost thing that I think one should keep in mind is that they must practice DSA each and every day when they start their preparation. Uh, so DSA basically can be practiced from sites like uh, Lead Code or GFG. Uh, or if somebody is interested in uh, competitive programming, they can try there as well. This is the first and foremost thing that one must focus on. The other important thing that I feel is really important and comes in handy is our projects. 
one must have good amount of projects and they should be done by themselves not that you just pick up something mm-hmm. randomly from the internet and you should be able to speak about why you have done that what is the use of the project in real life as well mm-hmm. that is something that one must really focus on okay. the next thing that i believe is important is having a good grasp of the basics of dbms and os along with oops that is something that all interviewers focus on mm-hmm. and i believe are basic uh, skills that a computer engineer must have so that is something that i think everyone should focus on hmm. apart from this something that i feel many candidates miss out on or realize very late in their journey is to focus on the reasoning ability and hmm. a few soft skills hmm. so if you start uh, to focus on these from the very start uh, let's say if you're in the first or the second year or even starting your preparation in the third year then if you focus on it from the very start then it will become easy for you to crack any good job Okay. Thank you so much for the suggestions and yeah. Thank you for sharing your experience. Okay. Thank you Jishu. Thank you so much.